I'm Cynthia Hawkins. I am a painter, but I'm not just a painter. I am married to abstraction. I think it's an act of resistance. It doesn't offer easy answers. It requires the viewer to look deeply. And I try to make paintings that make you want to look deep. Let's start at the beginning. So when I was little, I, didn't, I wasn't somebody who drew all the time. I was not. I wanted to do a lot of different things. So I wanted to be a nurse, I wanted to write plays, I wanted to be a playwright, I wanted to be a scientist, I wanted to be, you know, make rocket ships. But I was going to be a history major at college, and then I went through the um, art department with some friends late one night. And so then I decided to do it, be an art major. And so at those days, though, you had to have a review by the faculty of the department. And they were like, what are you going to do if we say no, you can't be an art major? And I said, I don't need your permission. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. And they like chuckled and said, all right, then you're in. <laughs> I began really to be an artist in 1972. I did this painting of gymnasts that I constructed myself. I worked on it a long time, and then I realized it was terrible. It was so stiff. But I also realized that it wasn't about the figures at all. And it was about like structure, direction, and moving the eye around the canvas. So after that, I left the figure out and continued like drawing exercise equipment. I just drew them all the time. And they evolved into literally geometric abstraction. That was sort of the same time I was looking at um, Vermeer for his floors and um, Mondrian for those trees, you know, the intersecting lines for the branches and whatever, and then it just became the squares. And I was like, that is something else right there. You know, how the natural, how the one's reality can be morphed into something else. So that was all for me, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm not stuck. You can, you're not stuck with, you know, what's in front of you. I got a job at uh, Cedar Crest College as a gallery director. You know, figurative stuff, abstracts, it was super interesting. But even though I had this job as a gallery director, I did continue painting. I didn't stop painting. You know, once COVID happened, I was like painting in the smallest room in the house. Bang, 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 one after the other, color. And it was like new life, you know? I was like standing there and I'm like, you know what, this is what I'm doing. So I retired and then things just exploded. And next thing I know, somebody's asking me if I wanna have a show in LA. And now I have new representation in New York City and um, I feel extremely humble, you know, and I just hope I can pay it forward. So 